You asked, why should I get the most efficient solar panel? So today I'm actually speculating how the house of the future could look and why a really high efficient solar panel is needed to create that really ideal renewable home of the future. Currently, we're, we're looking at EV vehicles being the savior of uh, reducing the CO2, etc. But the reality is, in order for that vehicle to be charged, it makes no sense to charge it from a coal-fired electricity plant because then we just move oil into coal and we haven't really had any advantage. So what we really need to do is we need to use renewables to charge the electric cars. Now we can build huge solar farms somewhere in the back of Whoop Whoop, or we can take control of this ability ourselves. So in order to do this, we need a home and we need a roof because the roof is really the engine that the solar panels will be used to power all the needs. So what are the needs? Let's say we have an electric vehicle and we have two vehicles in the family and we drive between 60 and 100 kilometers a day per vehicle. That means we need to at least generate between 10 and 15 kilowatt hours per vehicle. So there's already 20 to 30 kilowatt hours that I need to generate out of my solar to then put that in a battery and then have that battery available at night to charge the car. So therefore we need a solar system, we need car chargers, and we need the batteries. Now the batteries in order to be big enough to supply the house at night and also charge the cars, we're looking at least at maybe a 26 kilowatt hour battery bank. To get a solar system that is big enough to support all that, you would most likely need to be have three phase power because unfortunately with single phase, a lot of times nowadays, they restrict the size of the solar system you're allowed to have. And hopefully in the future, those rules can change. You will need 20, to 30 kilowatt hours for your cars. You need another 20, 25 kilowatt hours for the use of the house. And so we're looking for a solar system that generates between 50 and 60 kilowatt hours of electricity a day. Now in Sydney, you would therefore for a system that is big enough to generate for most of the months this kind of uh, electricity, you would need a 20 kilowatt system. Now 20 kilowatt system, on a 400 watt panel, which takes about two square meter, means you need a hundred square meter of roof space. There is no way that an inner city terrace has that kind of roof space, but in the Western Sydney, the larger new homes might have that. In those cases, you could then get your 20 kilowatt system of solar, get your 26 kilowatt hours of battery, get the two car chargers, and then therefore make your house very self-sufficient. Will this kind of setup, while it is environmentally friendly and lets you drive your EV guilt-free and run the air conditioning guilt-free, will that actually make any financial sense? You're looking to purchase such a system as long as you have the roof space to do so, you will look at at least $50,000 nowadays. That's even with the solar rebate added to it. If you drive between 25 and 30,000 kilometers with those two cars, then you're looking at about $6,000 in petrol savings alone per year. So if I look at the lifespan of the battery of 10 years, I've spent 50, so my cost per year is $5,000. I'm saving about six on the petrol. I'm saving potentially another two and a half to three on the electricity bill. Overall, I'm about four grand ahead each year. So over the life of the battery being 10 years, I'm likely to make around 40,000, but I have to put 15 in the first place, which is for most people obviously too much. So the whole thing about going green and really buying the ideal solar system that powers the EV vehicle, etc., it really relies on the government changing the rebate, in my opinion, from solar panels only to solar and battery. There needs to be some help. There needs to also be the efficiency of the panel still to go up further so that you can fit the largest possible system on the roof. The battery technology would improve as well so that batteries kind of last not just 10 years, but hopefully 20 years. Then the whole thing financially would make much more sense. And finally, also, I appeal to the government to implement ASAP 
a full recycling program for the batteries, both for the vehicle batteries and the home batteries, because we did definitely not do it right with the solar panels. A lot of solar panels went into landfill because there's no suitable recycling program. So I encourage the government to force the manufacturers of batteries and of the electric vehicles to take the batteries back in a swap system where maybe they even pay an incentive to get them back because there's a lot of very important raw materials left in those batteries. In summary, get the most efficient solar panel to save valuable roof space because in the future a five or six kilowatt system will not cut it if you want to be self-sufficient if you want to power your car you will look at 10 15 20 kilowatts as the system size that you will somehow try to fit on your house in order to make this proposal feasible for a majority of the families the cost of batteries still has to come down that's where really a lot of that $50,000 is sitting. My advice to the government is, at the moment, maybe consider to change the uh, rebate for solar and move it into batteries so that overall the affordability of a true renewable house becomes more and more feasible for normal people. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.